welcome to tonight's episode of Do It Yourself Vampire Slaying. I'm your host Lauren, and over the next few weeks, we'll be showing you how to save the world from vampires. On tonight's episode, Chris will give you some tips on how to decorate your own cross, Tim will show you how to make your own wood steak, and Steve will guide you through the process of learning the first basic fighting techniques that will help you defend yourself against vampires. But first, how to make your own garlic spray. We'll go to Jackie in the kitchen. One way to repair a vampire is with garlic. The fumes can temporarily disorientate the undead, giving you a chance to escape. On tonight's program, we will show you a way to create your own homemade garlic spray. Obviously, the most important ingredient is garlic. Simply crush three to four cloves of garlic, like we have here. Add two tablespoons of vinegar. And one cup of water. Add this to your saucepan and stir over a low heat for 30 seconds. Once the mixture is ready, you can then pour it into an empty spray or perfume bottle. Here's one we prepared earlier. Best of all, homemade garlic spray can be used as a delicious alternative to salad dressing. Remember, Never hold the spray directly in front of your own face and in case of an accident, always carry a packet of sugar-free gum. Now we'll cross to Tim, who will show you the different types of weapons you will need. Thanks Jackie. To be an effective vampire slayer, it is crucial that you use the correct weapons. While garlic and holy water will both repel vampires, there are only three ways to kill them. Beheading, piercing the heart with a wooden stake and sunlight. Here we have the standard issue Beheader 2000. It is great for beginner slayers, but for those who are more advanced, so look at purchasing the T167 model. The main features you need to be aware of are an extremely sharp blade and a wooden handle, so it can double as a stake. There are also many different types of stakes. The collector's edition Mr. Pointy comes fully varnished, but it's available for a limited time only. There are other stakes, such as the Sharp Tooth 85. Its most important feature is the double sided point, which is great for multiple slayings if more than one vampire attacks you. But best of all, you can't go past the standard vamp duster. Great for all purposes, they're extremely cheap, and you can even make one at home. All you need is a saw, a sander, and a piece of rounded wood. The most important thing is to choose a piece of wood that's strong, but not too heavy, so you can carry it around with you easily. First we need to cut the wood to the right length. And make sure you wear the correct safety gear. Next, create a sharp point using the sander. Make sure you hold the wood firmly against the sander to stop it from sliding. Finally, use a piece of sandpaper to give it that smooth finish. and you have your very own vamp duster. However, fighting vampires does require some skill, so later in the program we'll get Steve to teach you how to use your stake in battle. But next, here's Chris to teach you how to turn a basic wooden cross into a stunning necklace. One of the most common ways to protect yourself from vampire is to use a traditional cross. You can purchase these from most jewelry stores or make one at home yourself. With a bit of glitter and glue you can make it a fashionable accessory for any occasion. First apply a coat of glue to your cross. Sprinkle glitter over the entire area. Then tap lightly to remove any excess. Once it's dry, like these crosses here, simply thread a brightly colored piece of ribbon through it. You 
could even attach little jewels like these ones. You can use these fantastic crosses as a necklace, keychain, or even hang them up around the house. Now we'll cross to Steve, who will demonstrate how to use what you've learned on tonight's show in battle with a real vampire. Gear! Finally, we reached the point of our show and use everything we've learned in a real life situation. Now, got your vamp duster, my garlic spray, my fantastic cross, and a big head up. Now, let's get on the trail for Pierce and Lucy Vampire. Steve, Steve! Oh, what can I do for you, mate? I don't know. Sure thing. Now, what's your name? Oh, Turk Nigel. Yeah, so, how have you been? Training is extremely important and it can mean the difference between life and death. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've come to the end of our show. I hope you've had as much fun as I have. Now, here's Lauren, who will tell you more about tonight's program. To help you save the world from vampires, we'll be sending you a vampire slaying fax pack. Inside is a booklet, Look Out for a Show, which contains all the details on the war against vampirism. It contains advice from experts on what to do in an emergency and an anti-vampirism fruit magnet which has important phone numbers and space to add your own. Remember to be alert and not alarmed and I hope you've enjoyed tonight's program. Next week we'll be doing a graveyard makeover and setting up a fantastic holy water feature you can make in your own garden and building a weapons chest for all of your slain needs. For more information, visit our website at www.doityourselfvampireslaying.com.au or mail us at DIY. Vampire saying P.O. Box 000 on any of factions and tonight's stories. We'll see you next week. Ladies, reach for it. Come on. Hey, Steve. Steve. Wrong show, man. Wrong show. What a loser.